So we're gonna make some primers for rubber stars today. We're gonna to make hot primer and black powder primer as uh, demonstrated and explained by Ned Gorski over on uh, Skylighter, I believe. Use paper, use gloves, protect yourself, use a respirator, use eye protection. If you think I don't, Think again, I take this very seriously. I have kids, I don't wanna die. So we need to measure out 60.3 grams of potassium perchlorate. Potassium perch. This stuff is pretty free flowing. 60.32. It's good enough for me. Put this cup aside. I like to measure everything out up front. I don't like measuring with an open baggie of composition. It just seems more risky. There's more moving parts. You know what I mean? That's right. We need 11.9 grams of air float charcoal. This stuff weighs nothing. 11.88. Close enough. I'm just reusing a lot of these containers if they have the same ingredients as the uh, last recipe. Just uh, don't want to waste. Things aren't free, especially these dang chemicals. We need 7.7 G. 7.4. Getting better at this. I have never put a primer on stars before, so this will be new. It's exciting. Always like doing new things. Things. Can you tell I'm from the Ozarks? I have been cleaning this spoon between chemicals. I'm trying to get the ratios right on this uh, magnolium because I don't want it to be a rudimentary flash powder on me. All right, Gorski calls for us to mix, sift, and mix. Or I think he just says you can put everything into a baggie and shake it. Or a container, he says. Let's sift. This is a 40 mesh screen, actually I think it's a 39 mesh screen from my count. And I know he says, when he says 40 mesh, he means 40 mesh, so if this doesn't work because of a 39 mesh screen, I'm going to be pretty confused. I don't like dumping the magnolium onto the perk, but I did it anyway. I got that all screened. Our hot prime. Looks pretty well mixed. It's a dull gray. I'm not sure how I did it, but my camera didn't record me making this uh, black powder parlon prime. I did have to blade mill the potassium nitrate and the sulfur because they were a little bit too big of granules for my taste but it came together pretty easy. You just shake it up in a baggie once you have everything sifted together. All right, let's start weighing out the components for the, for the composition for the Brilliant Red Stars. You should just be able to screen mix these guys after you have them measured out and add them to a container and just shake that container up. Brontium nitrate. Courtesy of Fireworks Cookbook, I need 119.2 grams. This stuff is a little clumpy, so I'm going to have to mill it using my uh, handy dandy blender. Next up, we need magnalium. 42.7 grams. Where did I put my magnalium? There it is. This magnolium, also from Fireworks Cookbook. Very finely powdered. Definitely wear a respirator. We'll call 42.72. Good enough. Now let's weigh out our Parlon. We need 38 grams. This is my first time working with Parlon, so 38.36. 
good enough. Then I need 24.8 of red gum. Also, also, from Fireworks Cookbook. 24.83, good enough for me. Okay, we have our ingredients. Gorski suggests we pass these through a mesh. So that's what we're gonna do. And now I'm just doing this to get rid of clumps. I'm not big on mixing things in containers. I like uh, to mix them inside of baggies better. I feel like it contains the mess a little bit more efficiently. Okay, that's been screened. Let's get our baggie. Gorski's instructions just say you need to shake it together. So we're going to get this all really nice and incorporated in here. Looks like a nice free-flowing powder to me. Red Parlon stars. Check out my bad handwriting.